hello ntnp welcome to another video again guys thank you for tuning my old and new subscribers and thank you if you are here for the first time uh in this channel what i do is diy hair growth skincare and hair care products so if this is what you are looking for please subscribe and turn your notification bell on in case of any new video so in today's video i'm making uh three ways of doing uh aloe vera ginger and onion air growth oil that you can use due to uh the one you prefer uh yeah and also uh, for the less uh order of onion and uh, also let me say uh how beneficial um they can also be due to um, excuse me guys <clears throat> so due to the formula i am trying to make from it right now i'm going to share this aloe vera in two parts because i'm going to be uh, starting with the one in my uh, cutter and now i'm going to i just set the other one aside okay so i'm going to start now by you know um peeling my onion to remove the the that's the skin which we don't need okay so and as for the ginger you don't need to peel off the skin you are going to use everything completely okay because uh the skin is also beneficial all right so i'm going to do so by chopping everything the aloe vera the ginger and the onion so after that i'm going to this is the first part okay the first one to make the oil so i'm going to take it to my uh, blender to blend it by adding uh one quarter cup of olive oil so because most of you always ask me what oil i used so i do use any oil i might use grapeseed and uh, so on and so forth but this time i'm using a uh, one quarter and a half of that of olive or you can use coconut oil for this okay you can also use uh let me say almond oil rice oil so after that i went and blend this old stuff so i have my flame on so i have my cooker on i'm going to pour this stuff in here uh to cook it just steam it very low don't you know cook with high heat okay and not even uh, in the microwave so just go like so continue stirring don't allow it to stick so that it will not burn okay so right now uh the way it is it is ready so i'm going to take it off my flame and right now i've taken off my flame i'm just you know separating uh, to make sure the oil come into one part so that is it the oil is so beautiful guys this first part is the one i love more because of the color of the oil anyway not because of the let me say the um, let me say the one mo most effective is because of the color look at the color guys it's so greenish because of the aloe vera skin okay so it's on the whole oil to come out that green and i really really love it for that okay so i'm going to allow it to strain gently like so then i also after that i will remove my sifa allow the oil to settle down so that i can be able to collect the top like i usually do so like this so i'm going to just collect all the good oil from the top not allowing liquid or anything residue to go into the clear one the one i'm putting inside the jar so yeah so you can see down there there is uh some residue like so residue and some liquid so if you allow that to go into the oil it's going to make the oil to go bad on time it won't make it to last okay so after that i'm going to pour in my vitamin e oil this is to uh keep it uh against uh, going bad like you know uh you know uh, oxidizing to lose the quality so for that reason i add um vitamin e oil so you can also add rosemary oil in other ways okay so check out the color so after that now i'm going to just set this aside and you know <clears throat> and come up with the other uh you know method so that you will see the one you prefer more so guys in this second one this one is the odorless one so i'm going to come in with my dry leaf aloe vera uh with the pulp and the skin at times you might also get the one with only the uh, 
the gel i mean so this is my onion powder and this is my ginger powder so in that case i'm also going to make this in this form <clears throat> This is for those of you that, uh, you know, detects um, onion smell. So I'm just going to go in like so with one teaspoon of each uh, dry powder. And uh, yeah. So I'm also going to come in with one quarter of my olive, extra virgin olive oil. So guys, after that, just give it a stir to help uh, the oil powder to mix well with the oil. If not, they will tend to stick because most especially the onion powder, which uh, is a little bit, uh, let me say, gummy. So you need to, that is why you need to stir. So after stirring, just cover the lid and set it aside because this second phase we're going together with the other uh, second, with the other, with the third one. So I'm going to set it aside now. This is the third uh, method. This third method, uh, I'm going to chop. Uh, the whole thing as well like so like I did with the first one just chop and you know uh, into dice or tiny pieces that you can be able to blend as well so I'm also going to blend uh, this very one like I did with the first method So guys, this very one, uh, you don't need to blend it that smooth like I did with the first one. So it just needs to look uh, that's medium because I'm not going to cook it like I did with the first one. So this very one, I'm going to pour it in a jar that will be enough for the whole, um, the whole uh, paste. Okay. So after that, I'm going to dip this very one and the, the one with the dry powder into uh, a double heat boiler so we need to steam it at least for one hour so just allow it to be there with your low flame i like to steam but if you have low a uh, uh, crock pot better so in this case now uh it has been steamed for one hour so as you can see i'm just going to gently open because of the vapor you know not to cover my camera so yeah right now i'm going to remove it from the flame because it is perfectly ready so i'm going to also use this cloth because guys be careful this stuff is hot <laughs> it has been here for one hour remember so now i bring it on top of this surface here that resist heat so i'm going to just open i even burned my hand because i was so stupid here right now i uh, doing it without using cloth okay so right now i'm just going to open like so and look at it guys the oil came on top look at the color the color is not that greenish like the first one but it's green okay because why the other one is dark is brown so just due to the process i think so it uh, brings the same color of oil so this one is very very brown look at this very one so brown no one we thought that this is um mixed with aloe vera ginger and the uh, on your powder so meanwhile now i just i brought the first method here so that you can see the three stuff together and this is so amazing and strange 
so guys these three ingredients they are so amazing to treat hair loss hair fall breakage damage and grow your hair fuller thicker and longer so guys if you really want to grow your hair this is what i'll be using as the juice and it has been helping my bald patches and happy to grow it back this is good to treat alopecia areata or any kind of alopecia so guys if you love this video please subscribe share thank you for watching god bless you as usual. Bye-bye.